Yep. Alright, let me see if I have another vicious spread. I think I do. <clears throat> hey, Volto, what are you doing? How are you doing? Man, I got so many vicious spread. Oh, I only have one. Huh. I can get another one somewhere. I don't know how I. I don't know when I got that. I used to have more than one. I know that. Dashboard. What the hell is that? That's new. That's new. Where's that? On on the mixer thingy. Huh. It's a lovely view of a meteoroid field. Encapsulated by a, a thingy. By a, a thing. yeah. Uh, oh yeah, uh, that uh, that survival thing that was that happened a few days ago. It was a thirty-minute-long survival yes, that you had I to do. Yes, I died like three oh, you or did four it? times. I somehow didn't die at all. Fucking awesome! And How'd it you was, manage that? It was just me and a frost. You, oh, I did it solo. Yeah, no, it was just me and a frost. It was Garuda. It was me using Garuda, the Nagantaka, hey, and Alto. the say hello Despair. To everybody. Just stop sitting With... in my lap and say hello. <laughs> yeah. Because. Right. <laughs> Excuse me. Because uh, having the frost, he was. Stream. He was Stop freezing uh, up. Oh, but yeah. So the frost was putting down his snow globes uh, on like the door we were camping, so nothing could shoot in towards us. Uh -huh. And because I was spamming my fourth, it really doesn't matter that he has a snow globe down. So it was pretty helpful. And uh, he was also spamming his fourth ability to destroy everything that was nearby, and then he would just like go around and start like. Using his third to clear out waves of enemies. Hmm. And then I would just go around spamming the hell out of my melee weapons, killing everything. And uh, also using my first ability a lot and spamming the hell out of my fourth as much as possible to destroy all of the heavy gunners that were harassing us. It was pretty good, and then I also... Wait, no, did I? Yeah, no, I brought my talons. It was pretty good. Also, against infested, Garuda... <coughs> ...would be pretty good because she mostly does slash. And also, using the Parasesis is so great against infested, because... Yeah, I'm working on mine. Because mine currently does 282 slash. But I know for a fact that it does way more than that because of all of the mods I have on it with, like, you know, 49% crit chance. So that's fun. I want to see if I can upgrade my sacrificial mods yet. And my theory about those, uh. I can upgrade those, it once. Um, fucking vault cards. Those vault mod cards. Is that each each thing on the derelict has different drop rate for different cards. And what did we do? We went in and we did the capture, and I've got 16 keys left for it. And we just fucking hammered the capture until basically we got a bunch of re repetitive cards. So. It looks like we're gonna have to do every like frickin' thing on the derelict in order to get all of the specific mod cards out of the vault. Uh, yeah, we can try that. That's my game theory. I have so many parts for, like, kit guns and moas and amps. And apparently the catch moon is really good for index because it does radiation. And radiation against those guys and Eidolons is pretty good. Mm. So I might want that. And I was going to make one of everything. And there's this one called the Tomb Finger. Mm -hmm. uh, 
it has lots of it has one shot with big damage and then you also get the love tap <laughs> and yeah <laughs> the freaking the the scanner's doing it again I nod and live with wolves and you act you better act like one man. I need to get a few million plastids <laughs> Are you on plastids? Then we gotta go to probably Saturn. Mm. Let's see. The only mission I haven't done on Saturn is the defection, and I really don't want to do that. Yeah, I went and made a few hundred of of a bunch of uh, 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 planes materials. You know, a couple of 400, 20 fair steel, 800 parodic alloy, 900. And some odd corporate alloy. 130 Marquis Veritos. Yeah. Boundary items ready to claim, operator. Mm -hmm. Looks like farming. I'm about to break a thing. <laughs> I am polishing the sword. Frost Edge, and then put to the test. I, I spent like three million and went and got uh, about sixty of each blueprint for the Fildron, the Mutagen Mass, and the Detonite Injector. Just so I'll have enough for later. Yeah, that'll probably be helpful. Like, the scanner's kinda like being weird. It's. Ah. I, think it's, I don't know what it said, but it said someone. It said I am something, but I couldn't quite get to it. I am the Eggman. Cuckoo, 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 Okay. <laughs> what are we gonna do now? <laughs> oh, let's see. So we can farm Kuva, we can farm Plastids. We could farm Gab too to upgrade mods with credits and stuff. We could always deal. We could always go to Fortuna and attempt to mess with stuff there. Pick one. I'm not in the mood for Pick anything one. in particular. Surprise me, Batman! Surprise me! So, like with Fortuna, as long as you don't start a uh, a bounty. Nothing will be like super leveled. Yeah. And everything will just stay at yeah. around 10 Yeah, like 10 I keep saying, the shit in the planes, except for the Eidolons themselves, need to be at a, a maximum of like 10. Like level 10. And then for Fortuna, and for stuff in the open area, well, it's not really an open area, it's just a fairly large map. The stuff there doesn't yeah. need to be above level 10, except for the freaking Orb Mothers. They're, I mean, they're like, classed as bosses, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah, they are. But, I mean, like, all the enemies here, because they're corpus, naturally they're gonna do more damage to you. And early game, most no, people No, naturally can't they're gonna fuck your shields right up. Yeah, because they're corpus, so they're gonna deal a lot of damage to armor and shields. And once they get rid of those, then they'll just strip your health off. I don't it's know really how they annoying. manage that, but for fuck's sake, the fucking open map areas they've made are over fucking powered. Yeah, they are, yeah. That's I mean, like most of the stuff yeah, I is tried geared to, towards yeah. like veterans. Yeah, I tried to go farming for some shit in the open world Orb Valis, the big giant map. It's not an open world. Why yeah. don't you say that? The big open map they have. Big open I couldn't fucking farm anything off the rocks for the fucking corpo bitches hammering me. Like, I wasn't doing any missions or anything. Yeah. What the fuck? It, like, on the planes, you can for... get to a place where the, the fucking grenier can't get to you. Or they will yeah, leave you the like... fuck alone. <clears throat> yeah, I think what makes the, uh, the Orvalis so annoying is because the corpus are everywhere and you yeah. cannot escape them unless you're in an arc wing that's the only way to get the uh the alert to thing to go down 
is if you're in an arc wing and you're above the your Valis, because then they just can't see you at all. It's just like okay. Okay. I'd say for the best thing right to off. Do... Bye. <laughs> Basically. <laughs> yeah, I'd say like the best thing to do is to bring Garuda to heal people. Because what she can do is she can go to the strongest unit, impale them, and everybody gets health for it. And with Garuda, health is energy, so, like, as long as you have something impaled, you're gonna be fine. But yeah, so if we're doing this, we can go for, like, an hour. Because you can do something doesn't mean you should. Like make the game more grindy so we have to farm for longer. I've yeah. got other games to do let's plays of DE. Not fucking joking with you there. Uh, I mean like It's understandable why the Corpus are naturally like super powerful. But like the fact that the yeah, you can hash that up are the way that they are. Knowledge. Oh, blue one. Yeah, but like I, I have a thousand of these yeah, already. I need more. <laughs> I need more. Even though I have a thousand, I still need more. You know what I need more of? I need that four thousand. The amber one. The goddamn anosmia sculpture. That's what I need. Okay. Fuck. I Your Moa just emitted a blue aura. Oh yeah, that's a uh, stasis. It holds, or no, not stasis. Point. It's a grab mine. If an enemy walks into that, then they float up. Yeah, that. And yeah, yeah. And then there's like a little, there's like a little ball thing it'll throw out, and that like zaps enemies. This is the attack model of the Moa. There's also a defense and a utility one. I think the defense one would help you the most on the Orc Valis, because it has like a little, sh uh, it has a shield thing that blocks all incoming projectiles, I believe. I just need one so you can store use that. my shield and help. Kinda like my I believe uh, carrier that. prime is supposed to do. Yeah, I don't know why, but carrier prime is broken. Yeah, you it, really it has been, been broken. Like when you're attacking, you it's supposed broken. to be uh, yes. fucking vacuuming shit up, but it doesn't. Yeah. Honestly, at this point, I think uh, Google detects better than uh, Mr. Carrier does. Yeah, they need to stop listening well, to just... the little kids scream about more stuff. And they, they need to take the time to tell everyone be patient. We're going to fix bugs and glitches and errors. So the game plays properly. That's what they're doing mostly this year. They're still gonna be releasing the the new war quest and they've already they're already gonna release like two new war frames. Uh Hildren and a one that they're working on currently. I don't know what that one's name is. But I hope Hildra looks pretty interesting because uh, her abilities are based on shields. Like all of her abilities cost zero energy; they only cost shields, and she has a lot of shields. And she was clearly based off of Iron Man. What? She's based off of Iron Man. Yeah, and she has no energy. All she has is shields. Seems interesting. I'd like to see how that plays out. Yeah, like her first ability, she gets like this gun thing you can shoot people with. Uh, her her second and third, I don't remember what those do. Her fourth, it's like she starts flying around, and uh, the higher she flies, the more damage her ability her ability does. But uh, the less concentrated, the more focused it is. And like the lower she goes, the wider the area is, the less damage it does. And it's like it's kind of like Emperor's World of Fire mixed with Neja's uh, fourth ability of the spike things, where like he impales people, and that's what she also does with it. And it's like she looks pretty interesting. 
I'd like to see a fully voiced Deadpool frame that just does whatever the fuck. It'd be it hilarious. Wants. Like when you go into operator mode, you, you know, you get a little voice acting into that, and then it just goes and fucks off and does whatever it wants. You try to transfer its back, but he says, "No, I'm still doing stuff." Yeah, that would be fucking hilarious. That'd be great. Because people would just get confused and they start complaining. What the fuck is like, this? Well, that's how it's supposed to work. That's it's how Deadpool. it works. What do you expect? Yeah, expect the unexpected. Stop blocking me, maggots. Ah! <laughs> I hate the maggots. They're annoying. If you go through the trouble of scanning enough maggots, if you go through the trouble of scanning maggots, eventually you can spawn them in the simulacrum. Like, just the maggots and nothing else. Also, boilers the simulacrum behave like they should, except you can also break the simulacrum. Because, uh... Yeah, and like, if you do the kill all command, it doesn't kill the spawn pod, you have to do that, you have to press the button twice. So one of my friends calls that the welcoming committee, because whenever they get a new person to play this game, or they just get a new person to the party, they go to the, uh, they go to the simulacrum, spawn in a bunch of boilers, and then they just kill all of them and go, have fun. The and they just let the person die and it's hilarious. Yes, we got the good one. We got the one with the ramp. This one is actually perfect for Garuda. Hello, Star. Dude, I got lost. Another trying Star. To follow you. I just went to extraction. But yeah, dude, there's I two see that. down here. Another life support capsule. I haven't even tried out my Tigress Prime yet. Wait, you finally got oh. it? Yeah, no, I've had it. I've had it at level 30. I just mean, like, my the, the one that I use now. The one that I have now is remodded. Let's do this ancient. <laughs> Gone. Hold on, I want to see how much spread this thing has. <laughs> if I aim, uh, pretty, if I aim at least close to the enemies, I still hit them. Because it just has that much spread. Two blue ones? Three blue ones. There's three of them in here? Well, uh, no. There's two blue ones in here, plus the one we already picked up prior, so that's three. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Everything up there is dead now. Look at those damage numbers. I summoned the damned. Life support on the way. We are both going to be competing now we for can't kills. See focus the run, by the are. way. I'm not going after focus run. I did a focus run. I'm just going after fucking shit up. Aaron, let me throw down I need my turret. shield. They, they made turrets weaker. Like, they take less damage now. Oh, you mean they buff their armor? I've delivered another uh, capsule. No, I mean that it takes less to kill them now. Hmm. I said that wrong. Do they do? Fuck! Do I they do any more damage? Do they do any more damage, or are they just weaker? Well, they fire uh, more consistently. Okay, but so they're they... weaker. I don't want that trade-off. Huh. They were fine the way they were, except for their lack of firing. They just needed to be better on their target acquisition is what they needed. That's all they needed. Well, I mean, like... If they did more damage as well, then that'd be a pretty good trade-off. But... No, they don't do more damage. The way they are. They actually do less yeah, damage Yeah, but I mean, like, the way they are... Like the way they are, your turret's already dead, by the way. See? They, they made it a fucking piece of shit. It's a waste yeah, to place dude, a turret like... down and survive now. 
Like, I'm not gonna lie, one ancient walked up to the turret, punched it, now it's just gone. It's it just left. It's supposed to be level 30 turret, and the fucking enemies are supposed to be level 20. They're making the player less and less powerful over time. I don't know if you've noticed that. I think... The, I the, think the that grind the, uh, and the fucking nerfs they're doing is just fucking absurd. I think Reaper Hunter did a good job of explaining that uh, don't nerf the Warframe because its ability is overpowered. Buff everything else. No, don't buff everything else. Let the player have their power fantasy. Let them chase it, acquire it, have fun with it, and then move on to something else. Let the player have their unalienable right to the pursuit of happiness. Otherwise, you know, I could just have them all publicly executed for fucking trees. And I figure, you know what, I might as fucking well do that. Yeah. Seriously. What they're doing isn't just morally bankrupt, it's so fucking illegal that it's treason. I don't get why everyone in the legal field is talking about shit like that in games doesn't point that out. They're fucking stupid. Balto, shut up, man. If I were to make a game, if there was a bug, I'd just go, Hey, there's a bug. Use it to just do whatever you want. I don't care. Depends on what the bug is. If the yeah, bug if it traps the your game, frame no. under a set of stairs and slash and stuff doesn't work, yeah. then it's a game-breaking bug. Bug? Yeah, if it's a, if it's worse. If if it's a game-breaking bug, as in one that makes everybody have fun, then no, I'm not gonna remove that one. But like, just said game-breaking that, that makes everyone have fun. There is no game-breaking glitch or bug or exploit that makes people have fun. Uh, well that one thing with power donation made people have fun. That wasn't broken. It wasn't game breaking. That was game enhancing. Well yeah, but the term for it that is widely used is game breaking. Uh, I, yeah, I've everyone that, that says that for those sort of things is a fucking idiot. I've said that before in Minecraft. I don't mean to. But I do say it sometimes when I'm like, I figured out how to break the game with command blocks or something. That's what I said before. Because I actually broke the game with command blocks. Because I crashed it. You crashed it. But yeah, otherwise, that's game breaking right there. That's game breaking because I couldn't get close God enough damn, to the command I'm blocks. Goddamn, getting tossed around like a fucking 12 year old in a fucking Catholic brothel. So am I, but it's even, but it's fun when you physically cannot die. The, the fun factor there may be, I'm a ping pong ball, mommy, look at me! But I'm just not having it right now. Yeah. All of the enemies just get slacked. Stop grappling me! Hey, it's fine. If I just spam the B button, nothing can reach us. The Parasites is probably the funnest weapon of my Sigma Noctantis, and now I'm getting used to a big giant heavy weapon all over again. Like, yeah. look at how fast this thing, this thing is. Stop without grappling! Me. Please. Like, Katana, look at how fast this thing is without Berserker. That's the paracesis. Look at it, that's just your paracesis the bill. The best and then I get my own power. That enemy just lagged. And then frame by frame dropped. Wow. Dude. They really oh, yeah. I keep desyncing optimization at, stuff there. Dude, look at this. Stop running I in circles. I gave my paracesis a mod. No, this is this is what I mean. It does this. It makes me fast. Whenever I kill things by channeling. Which means more which means more damage. Because it also hits faster for some reason. Stop grappling me! Fuck! <laughs> 
<laughs> if we if we just stay down here, all none of the enemies can get near us. Because all I have to do is spam my fourth ability. Just watch as everything dies. The focus is on top of me. Grapple me continuously, back to back, like they just did. That's called being in the wrong place at the wrong time. No! It always happens! <laughs> it's not a matter of wrong place, wrong time. It's every place, all the fucking time! Yeah, because when there's more than one, that's all they do, and it's the most annoying thing ever. But if you can kill yeah, them fast that. enough... It's, it's fucking annoying. It might be hilarious for content for, like, five minutes, but after that, it's just severely fucking mundane. Dude, honestly, at this point in at this point, if you have a revenant and a Garuda, no enemies can survive because we have Garuda doing this all the time and revenant spamming his lasers, and nothing can survive that. The only yeah, thing that can survive that is level one summon minions and take a smoke break. <laughs> this is Necros Prime on the job, everybody. This is what Mesa used to do. Because the fourth used to just kind of be an aimbot where you just sit there and she would just shoot at people. Yeah, but now but it's you can't not. take both hands off the control in your hand. Well, not anymore. Exactly. See, with Necros, all you have to do is summon your minions and then bugger the fuck off. Go use the restroom or make a fucking ham sandwich or some shit. Yeah. <clears throat> Oh yeah, uh, there's a YouTube channel called Ashisogi Tenno, who recently did a video on why they weren't a Warframe part partner. Because, like, they have all of the requirements tenfold, and they're probably one of the most popular Warframe content creators, like, ever, besides Tactical Potato and all the other ones. Yeah. But, like, they're not a partner because DE's automated thing didn't allow them to become a partner for some reason. It's like the minimum subscribers you can have is 2,500. They have over 60,000 subscribers. Get off and one of the other board. things is crazy cat. And one of the other things was uh, make weekly Warframe content. This dude makes it like weekly. And he's only made Warframe content since his channel started. Okay. So, DE and need like, to take a look at their yeah. automated stuff and fine-tune it to where it's proper. They need time to and then after fix it's... everything, basically. And all the fanboys just need to stop, you know, jerking themselves off about more fucking shit. Also, uh, in that video, he also talked about how there are people who are partners who have way less than 2,500 subscribers and people who don't even upload Warframe content who are Warframe partners. And it's just yeah, like, yeah, what? Okay. Fun. Yeah, and then, uh, also, he then talks, he then goes to say, I've talked to some of the partners, they have really good ideas, and whenever they try to reach out to you, you never listen to them. It's just like, yeah, that sounds like he... Yeah, there was a video then he a just while goes, back by Young yeah, saying partners. that DE listens to their their player base. Yeah, if they yeah, listen because, to uh, me, he's... then a lot of people would have hey, a lot Joe. of fucking fun. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, he also said that uh, because he said the the partners. Are just a refined version of the voice of the fan base because they they're not refined. they don't give you the bad ideas they give you all of the good ideas that all of the other people are probably kind of love. I'd worded that really weirdly yeah but I mean like really cumbersome and really so clumsily yes yeah, so air support charge means... used to take five minutes for you to place another one now it takes like ten. Yeah, if you're gonna nerf the damn thing so that it breaks the first time it's hit, remove the fucking time delay. All of the things are stuck on the ceiling. I see that. It's very easy to shoot them from here. 
I do more damage the lower my health is, and because you have rejuvenation, I can't do that. I don't know. You're pretty damn low already. <clears throat> well, that's because I did that. I did that myself because of this. But I can get it all back almost instantly. Like here, watch this. You bad to die. No. I'm not. Look at all that. Look at it go. This is why Garuda is nearly invincible because she just does this. I agree. I'm not calling you up. There was this one thing where, like, apparently this person. Ah. Uh, Who's in fighting all these people? Dude, look, my name is there are person Bill. There's a lot of persons in this party. I mean, I can change it. <laughs> I can change it. <laughs> the more successful we will be. <laughs> At least it's not the mighty number nine. I'm now changing it to the mighty number nine. Son of a bitch. <laughs> Oh yeah. No, oh yeah, uh, Katana, it doesn't yeah. matter if I don't yeah. kill them, they just, they take more damage anyway. You know what, I'm gonna help you out with some minions, and I'm gonna take another smoke break. Wait, what? You do that. But yeah, my fork makes them take more damage, and it's pretty nice. And by more damage, I mean... It makes them more susceptible to bleed. What was that? Did you just like start up a really weird lawnmower? <laughs> the fuck, dude? dude? No joke! That should be on a soundboard! Dude, that's why I was doing the sound right there! The sound we are at really 50 bad <laughs> I'm gonna go hit one of the things. Uh, Janky, help! Someone! George Carlin! George Carlin! Dead. <laughs> Just scream out for no reason. We have a mansion! Help me! Someone! Someone! I'm gonna die from the right one! And maybe a little bit of cancer. After all what, this, are you having a cerebral hematoma? I love it when that happens. Yeah. I was like sarcasm. Why are things floating in the air? Yeah, baby. Probably because of my die. Let's go. Wait, did you just say sarcasm? How the hell did you know my middle name? Who told you? Stop, Ron. Why everything's floating? We all float down. I don't know what. I don't know why that's happening. Yeah. Oh, down here. Well, hi there, Georgie! I nearly killed that yeah, charger, I didn't even Georgie. aim at it, I didn't even know it was there. I got it. I think that class is... <laughs> <one shot. laughs> that's a good movie. No, that's just <laughs> how high my spread is. All those people are... Or I can just do this and kill everything that way. Oh my god, <laughs> the like, you're in the gray blob of numbers He's just popped up fucking on hilarious <laughs> Yeah, that's, that's the reason in a nutshell. You just get the gray blob of numbers. What? That's all I see huh? is numbers. And then a slash. <laughs> I guess it was. It's Hello. That's no. fine, guys. We're fine. I didn't need to always get me, but I By the way, Katana, this also kills you. <laughs> Good! I'm gonna need that! I don't know why! Yeah, are you I, gonna forgot, need I, that? I don't think I've ever let you know that. But yeah, Garuda's second ability heals all of her teammates. And then you see how much it heals me. And it's just like, yeah. I'm selectively killing things for my army of hell. Can I be part of the, he the, the hell army? No. Uh, You're not allowed. I'll kill that. I'll kill that. Oh, definitely. Why are you laughing? That. Why isn't it dying? Oh, you're down here? Why are you not dying? 
Todd, I can help you. This will help. I can tell you. Oh, there was a live live support stuck in the ceiling. (laughs) I blame you, Ted. I think my... I thought, I think my, for no yeah, reason, I think, I think you were trying to point at me and just go, I blame face. you, Joe! I don't know, I blame you. <laughs> I'm obviously, oh, Joe. Why did Cortana activate when I said obviously? <laughs> I don't know! <laughs> I'm not the She's sneaky like, oh, perv that's listening in on Words. this conversation. Probably, just everyone's favorite. No way. Guys, no, you I can't! Have have everyone's favorite idiot! I already have! <laughs> Guys, no, no, no joke, I have a hat that says sarcasm. The body's natural resort to retardation. Wow! I have a shirt that says allergic to humans with the most depressed looking cat there is. Get out of my The cat's just like, why?! I mean, he is on our team. <laughs> well, actually, not me. It's been about a good four days. Not a long time. Yeah, well, for some people. For I mean, some I'm people, I'm not in the equivalent of forever because they have no attention to learn. I agree. That is you in a nutshell, Suck. Suck. No. Know what it fuck is, you. but suck. It's I'm 850, not... that's cool. I'm not sucking anything. You suck things. Already done. Your turn. That's not great, but you're sucking anything. Right? What the fuck? What the fuck? You're oh. on the credit, not me. Why did they make it so powerful? <laughs> what? I thought he said, no, he nerfed said, enemies, Dave! He nerfed enemies! Let's fight! Let's fight. Let's fight. For every battle! Fart! Or, or Katana, they could just unnerf all of the war for him. Yeah, that too! Do both! Or, <laughs> or, or, I've got the most amazing idea. Stop adding in Warframes that are literally just copies of other fucking Warframes. Yeah. I mean, the thing newest thing one is Trinities. Yo, thanks, man. That was really good. I mean, like, like uh, wait, what, my... Can we just make a top stream? My, me, my Joe, stick and, that and impales Paul, enemies? Paul. I'm already streaming. Did you not <laughs> notice? Flying. I don't oh, yeah, know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did I notice when I tried to join Joe and let let me join, but when I went to your name and said it was in a party with you, even though he's anonymous? Don't worry about me, okay? He's not anonymous. <laughs> Are you sure about that? <laughs> oh. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you're not the hacking group anonymous. Are these zombies on the wall? You're right. Oh, I'm reconomous. No, Are you're anonymous. Oh yeah, uh... Yes! I, I did a doodle! Dang it. Katana. Back in the Whenever I stab... <laughs> yeah, I'm not taking off my headset, though. I'm just letting someone outside because they won't stop meowing at me. He's talking okay. about his pet, guy. Talk okay. about his pet. So, Katana... Not taco pet. A totally There's different situation. It's raining tacos! Uh, out of this guy! So, Katana, whenever I stab an enemy with my impaling stick, you can still kill the enemies. Because then they die when it's over. Uh-huh. So when I stab the enemies, you can still shoot them. It just disables them and kills us. Yeah. Last time you explained this, I don't think I was streaming. So go ahead and explain away. Yeah. Just stop and killing enemies force, to the ceiling. It just makes... STOP! FUCKING LASSOING ME, YOU BITCH! But yeah, uh, my fourth is, if the enemies survive, they are more susceptible to bleed damage. They lasso me, Which, they against me all back. Just to lasso broken. me again! Fuck them! They're not broken, I'm it's dead. powerful. It's overpowered yeah, using... fucking annoyance! 
what it is. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not sure what's going on, but... It's a lot of that's what's going yeah. on! Yo, why? <laughs> Let the salt be poured into the open wound! And follow it up yes. with citric acid! Fuck this! Make sure it's lemon. Also, okay. don't forget to make like sure that. that it's a paper cut. Can I, can I the paper cut the in the food? eye with salt mm -hmm. and lemon juice! Yes! From a rusty of piece of paper! We can't, we can't forget the fire. You can't forget the fire. The fire always helps. Oh, wait, yeah. Use acid. Not the drug, like sulfuric acid, that'll probably help. It, it, and acid. Just say, and acid. Flag That's out. Yeah. Joe died. He should probably leave now. Yeah, that might help. But then again, we're only 70% life support. Yeah, we can stay a little while. Alright. Well, the enemies are only level 45. Dead. I'm sure we can kill them eventually. I mean, they're only infested. Like, they're not the strongest faction. But they have they so many numbers, it's just annoying. It, my Tigress is supposed to one-shot everything up, up to level fucking 60. Hold on, wait. Okay, yeah, no, my Tigress doesn't do anything against them either. Yeah, mine's supposed to be- But my fourth ability does. They fucking nerf the Tigress. Or just shotguns in general. Well, the- there's a new one called Exergus. That does- eight, that, uh, that has a higher base damage than the Tigress Prime does. Fucking hell. Ah, let's make a weapon yeah, obsolete you... so that we force people to use platinum to buy the new one. No, do you want to know? Do you want to know where you Microsoft. get it? That's Microsoft. The other one's ruining the fucking game. Hey, Katana, do you want to know where you get that weapon? In hell, you have a five percent chance to get the thing you need to drop from an orb mother. Five percent. Yes, and you need six of them. And you can only get one. And this only happens at the start of the fight. Which means you have to farm them for hours before you get what you want. Or alternatively, you could become a partner and get everything in. Fuck off on making these bad decisions. So that we can have fun in the game. Because the grind is just yeah. unnecessarily absurd. Yeah, I, at this point, I believe it's more worth it to try and trade for uh, Tiger's Prime parts rather than give the Exergus. I think it's it, more it, worth it, it just... to trade fucking Platinum for a Tiger's Prime ribbon. Or just a Tiger's ribbon. I don't think they're specifically for the Prime. I think it's That'd more cool. efficient to trade for a fucking ribbon at this point! Honestly, it probably would be. I have a shotgun prison. So you never know, it could be a tigress. Uh, Dude, my tigress pump is one uh, shot, whatever that thing was. Yeah, if it's, if it's gonna be for a tigress, well, what I would love to see on it, it's just a fuck ton of multi shot. Yes. Dude, you know, I know what I love doing? I love grabbing the Tetra and the Mirage, giving it Rickish, or er, giving it, uh, the one Ricochet mod for it, and then a ton of multi-shot. Because then you fill the screen with purple, oh or whatever God. your energy color is, and it's glorious. It's and glorious. And against specifically, in real they... life, man. Yeah. And against Grenier specifically, everybody dies. And it's great because the Grenier only have ferrite armor, so it's not like they're all gonna be like 
doing all that much. I haven't been bothered with my first ability. I got 11k damage from that one guy. Okay. I was just casting the ability, but I didn't get hit or anything. What do you do? How much damage do you do? Hit me! Okay, man, I want you to do it. You better hit, hit me! me. These things do about a lot of damage. Like, just about a thousand damage. You know, that's a pretty casual amount. I don't know why I went into that accident, but okay. We'll stick with it. Ah, oh, there's enemies in the ceiling again. Kill them all! I mean, hey, if they're on the ceiling, that means they can't attack us. Alright, we've been in here for like 30 minutes. Yeah. Have we gotten anything useful? Fuck no! When would Microsoft ever uh, well, allow let's, that? Let's see about that. Let's see about that. We've got the best mod, Expel Infested. Um, that's incredible. That is worth multiple platforms on the market. Uh, let's see, we've got 21,000 credits, a lot of them though. A lift relic, more credits, high ten stars, circuits, two organ cells, and set my projectors. All in all, this was not worth it in any way, so shape, or form. For you when you stand in front of me. Dude, all of my weapons have the most amount of punch through, it's insane. Like with the I don't know. Now Everything. we have two turrets! Watch them get destroyed in like five seconds! Everything except for my Titan, right? Has a ton of punch through. That my Tiger's Prime has all my punch through. Yeah, because I mean, like, my fourth ability just casually goes through the walls, so. This fuck I'm gonna have to like aim it all that often. Motherfucker! And I manage Oh, it's just a mola. We can let it die. It doesn't have to live. Yeah, I'm summoning idiots to bullet sponge. I actually died because I didn't get my ability off time. I can't save you if they keep knocking me back. And they yeah. killed me! Eh, it's fine. I can just revive. Duke everybody. My first ability. And they destroyed a turret. Yep, I was right. Took him like five seconds. Why did you why do you allow Microsoft to tell you to nerd me? The player uses to have fun. Why? Why? We should just have no nerves unless the enemy is physically unkillable. Oh, you mean like the fucking Raptor melee only challenge? That is possible. I've seen people do that. It only took them three hours though. Yeah, three it hours took them a the while. Game. Like, okay, oh, you've been in this mission forever. Please get the fuck out. I will help you kill this damn thing if you will leave! Damn, they're not taking damage like they should. The slash damage! They're supposed to be vulnerable to slash damage! Why am I not one-shotting these fucks? Hold on, wait, no, wait, wait, wait. Yeah. yeah, so this paracesis right here is shredding them. Well, it works at close range, but I've put fucking stuff on it so that it's supposed to work at longer ranges. How much slash damage do you have? I don't know. Like 13, maybe 19,000? I forget which configuration, which damage numbers are on. No, I have 800 slash damage, and I'm destroying these enemies quicker than you are. 
Why? I don't know. Summon minions to bullet sponge. Something's broken, that's for sure. I think my despair are doing more damage than uh No they no, I think my despair do the least amount of damage, they do a seven hundred. Alright, yeah, we're starting to end up we're starting to end up the energy leechers, so let's just let's just hold this let's just wait this out and leave it for you because this is starting to get really awesome, almost to ridiculous. More ridiculous than Microsoft is forced to be by being a bitch to the guys at DE, telling them to make it more grinding. Yeah. You know, one thing we could do is we could just have fun with the mods and put and focus on only one stat of a Warframe and see what happens. Like range or damage. I did that with Necros Prime before. I had like, I covered an entire I... map. I did that with Revenant, and you remember what happened with Thorin, and how he just died whenever I used my ability. <laughs> that was my favorite thing, because all Thorin. that happened was I used- From the infected- Yeah, uh, the- Infestation thingy? <clears throat> yeah, the big infested charger guy, before you get Nyx. Uh, yeah, because I use the ability, right? I can only yeah, use basically it for like one shot his ass. I remember that. Yeah, I was, I was just that was the fastest I've him. ever been in that mission. Like I could barely keep up with the, you guys moving the fuck around. Oh, he's dead. I didn't even get there yet. <laughs> yeah, I'm still in the starting area. Us. Here's that false fog. We chase it away back to beauty and succeed or fall. Fail. Face the foe. Eyes open. Oh, we okay. got a couple of lith relics out of that. We're still continuing. And my pair of six saves us from death. They love at least save us from life. You know what I Nothing would love to see in this game? What? A pool of experience that just stores up. And when you get a new weapon and equip it, and as soon as you go and, and equip it, it draws from that pool of experience and levels that new piece of gear up. <clears throat> Weapons, that would be warframes, really nice. companions, the whole fuck everything. That way, I would say the best. That way, all the experience yeah. you get after you've maxed everything out that you've currently got goes into a pool that you draw from later when you get new equipment and new weapons and new frames. Right. Yeah. Like that, that would be really good. Reducing the grind. Honestly, I think the best thing we got out of that mission was the fact that I now have 73,000 credits. Because I only have 3,000 when we left. What? How do you go so low in credits? Because I spent them all on upgrading a single level on a mod. <laughs> and besides, I don't even really try to farm for credits. I saw this this one video where this person was using the Catch Moon and Revenant, the farm index, and they managed to get like a million credits almost. Good for them. Good for no. them. And like they explained. Oh hey, that, I've got uh, one last frickin' note to unlock on Sedna, so that I can then do away? their um. Arbitrations. Arbitrations, and that's I this have a lot more things here. To yeah, Vod Yanoi. I also yeah, need to do on. that, but I still need to do that one defection and some other ones. I need to go and change. I'm my gonna setup. bring. 
<clears throat> you do that. I'm going to bring Revenant with my MOA, and we're going to see what happens. Actually, here, I'm going to go check on the MOA to see what the hell it does. Yeah. Fucking 15,000 slash on configuration A, and it wasn't even one-shotting a level 30 in that fucking previous mission. Yeah, they they nerfed well, the my... player's damage output considerably. Yeah, but here's the thing. My Parasesis has 302 slash damage, and I was dealing more damage than your Tiger's Prime with it. Explain uh... how the hell that's supposed to work. I don't fucking know. Please, tell me. Range versus like, melee, why? I guess? Because I was shooting them from across the damn slanted hall? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, I guess technically... Now I'm up to 526 gun. slash damage on my pair of sissies. Now I just need of Primed Fury. Where did I put my Primed Fury? No, oh, uh, have you formed the? There it is. Have Have you formed the Parasesis yet? No, I just got it to twenty five. Okay. Well, once once you get it to thirty, if you form it, it gives you another level. Where's my berserk? So if you form it enough, it'll get you up to forty, I believe. Yeah, no, you only have to form it five times, and then you get it up to level forty, and it gives you more mastery rank the higher up you get it. There Obviously. Goes. Also, oh, when you get fuck. to rank 30, it... When you get to rank 30, it doesn't say max rank. And I find that really funny. I find that kind of cool. Alright, here. Let me see what my thing, what my MOA does. Alright, anti-grav grenade. A grenade that reverses gravity in a 3 meter radius. I'll put this inflicting 60 here. impact damage. Target sustains additional damage based on the amount sustained while airborne. Okay, so it kind of behaves like uh, Garuda's second ability, where she stabs things. Because while they're on the skewer, you can hit them, and then they'll take damage when they're done. And then we've got the Whiplash Mine. Deploys a mine that tethers all enemies in 20 meters. After 3 seconds, all enemies get pulled to the mine. Okay, and then I gave- oh yeah, I gave it vacuum as well, as- and shield charger. It might have been the MOA using vacuum, and completely destroying everything by sending them all to the ceiling for some reason. Not sure why that happened, but it did. But yeah, I think after this I'm gonna get off. <clears throat> Oh yeah, uh, I finally got my freaking computer to work again. <laughs> so now, it, uh... So now I've just, like, I haven't been on very often, because I've just been playing StarCraft 2. <laughs> playing what? Playing what? StarCraft 2. Oh. <clears throat> yeah, I've just been playing that. And, uh... In one of my games, I was be I was Zerg in a co-op, right? I was about to do a really big rush, and then my teammate, who clearly was not American, because they didn't they weren't speaking very well English at all, and uh, so they were like, I asked them why they did that, and they were like, because you're stupid, and it's just like, why? And they didn't respond for a solid five minutes until I asked them again, and I was like, why am I stupid? And they were like, because you have one base. And I'm like, I don't need more than one. That was a bad idea. Um, Got two of them, but yeah. finally. But yeah, because they completely destroyed my base, and it was... Ah! Wait, can I just... I've been killed. Help. You have been killed. Why I was freaking out because I thought I was gonna die, but I don't know. I don't know. You flashbang me, I kill you! Why does a sniper need to get Hold on, wait. Ow! He flashed me and then it killed me. Hey, somebody he teleported me. He must have the most me. horrifying 
freaking body ever. Holy hell. Wow. I barely hit that guy with my uh, ability. And he took so much damage. Like, it was just a constant 480 of damage. I didn't know what did. One shot that. me. Dance of death. Yes, kill them. The one on I find really funny is it's called Dance Macabre, and that actually means dance. Damn kill him! Kill him! Kill him! There we go. We're on the I up want and up. to thrall one of these. I want to thrall one of them. Please allow me that. If I can do that, oh I will Oh my god, that they're out. overpowered! Why do I have a thousand shields? I don't know. I mean, yeah, they're a little Why 80, Why are we right? both getting one-shot by these fags? I actually got one. Dude, I actually- you can actually throw these guys. Oh my god, he one it at me! Revenant's first ability is officially the best ability in the entire game. <laughs> because all- because no matter what, even if it's a boss, you can still thrall them. God. We're being fucking killed. Killed. Oh. Oh, wow. Oh, wow, ah! that actually hit the- He came out of nowhere! Dead now. Wow, that actually is a good amount of damage to him. See, I've gotten oh, yeah, fighting no, each that's other right. with the average. I think you do too. Dude. That's our yeah, saving grace here. Thing. The radiation. Actually, if I am spamming my thrall, then, like, that too. No, well, no, because then if you radiation, then that only means that they can attack other people, but they will still target us. You remember what happened when we farmed, uh, Tyrannus for, I think, Argon? Uh... And I was using... Rev and ah, you were using radiation, me. and whenever... He killed me! And whenever you hit the enemies... That's bad. What if you thing. killed the enemies? He's up the stairs. He's like yeah. right in front of you. Like, like... Yeah, and like, well, I'm dead should... now, so. Yeah, I was about to say, yeah. you should be dead now. I was already dead, like the moment you started talking, I was dead. God but, damn it! Uh, yeah. What the fuck hit me? Radiation and rev is bad. These guys are just like. You know? Hey, he threw up a frickin' decoy and buggered the fuck off. We've got decoys to worry oh, what? about. Get back here! Ah! They just completely destroyed me. They flash banged me, stunned me, then nuked me. How many points do we need to win? How many points do we need to win? More than 15, I think. I think it's 20. Okay, we're two points Wait, no, away. No, I don't know. Wait, no, I don't remember. It if might it's be 20, we're two points or away. It's, or it's 30, I don't remember. I don't think it was 20, I don't know. No, it wasn't 20. It might have been 30 or 50, I don't he remember. He switchboarded with me. Switchboarded. Yeah, and he's he killed me! What the fuck? I shot at him in the yeah. face! Multiple times! Okay, it's more than 20. Have you heard... One. Yeah, yeah. Ha uh, do you know... Have you heard of the Greenier Commander? Which one? Uh, it's just a unit called the Grenier Commander. I think so. Yeah, they literally only switch teleport with you. 
in missions, and they're the most annoying things ever. Mm, when me yeah. and when me and one of my friends first encountered them, we had no idea what was happening. We thought our games were breaking because there was no explanation as to why they could do that. Oh my god! <clears throat> he died right next to me. You should be dead in like 15 seconds. Plus. Dude! My thrall does half of their health in one hit. Ah! For some reason. I can weaken them while you kill them. Hey! It was 25. Because we won. Katana, no, we won. We, yes, finally! Thanks for helping me. It, it was only done. 25. It was only 25. That's good. I don't like Rathum. I can do the arbitrations. Which means now you get adaptation. And rolling guard. Ooh, you're gonna like those two mods. You know what adaptation, adaptation does? does. Adaptation does. Huh? I'll sh I'll show you. I should have got way more points from my factions for that. My syndicates. This. Resistance to is more damage type. type. It shouldn't be seconds, it should... Okay, it should last permanently instead of being for a set amount of time. Like, it should start it at so many seconds, and then the more you upgrade it, the more it lasts for... You know, the final upgrade should be it lasts permanently for, throughout the mission. Well, it essentially does, because there's no cooldown to it. So... And then... Okay. But with Rolling Guard, there is a cooldown. With Rolling Guard, there is a cooldown, so it, it's... But it's still a good mod. And I think you might like this one. Hey, it's a survival. Hey, it's a survival. Vir Vitus I think essence. you might like Rolling Guard. What the fuck is Vitus Essence? I don't know, because I'm not even there yet. Yeah, Rolling Guard. This is a pretty good one. Why does it say Equinox Strength and ten Twin Vipers Damage? Because if you use those, then it then they do more better. Oh. Probably. I don't know. I haven't been to those yet. But yeah, this is Rolling Guard. It's a good mod. Oh, I Let's can't try go. it, just for the fuck's sake, funsies. I imagine this is gonna be an, gonna... an epic fail. I'm gonna use Garuda. I believe I know how they work. And if I... Oh, wait, no. If, if these are what I think... That it... Yeah, if... If the things do what I think they do, you're not gonna like this. Uh, but yeah, that's Rolling Guard. Speaking of veteran it literally gamers, just... did you know that apparently there is cosmetic armor pieces that you can only get in fucking um, Tenocon that buff your stats? Yeah, yeah, I think you've told me about this. Seriously. I mean, like, it's understandable. It's understandable but if you let everyone go to Tenocon instead of yeah, that blocking it out because it's an in-game thing. Let everyone go, for fuck's sake. You want more people to play, stop fucking locking everyone out. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, so rolling guard... It literally just makes you invincible for three seconds. And it removes all your status effects. It has a is is it gonna let down. you do this arbitration? 
Yes, it will. Fuck yeah. But if I remember correctly... Oh. Nope, never mind, it's not. Shit. <clears throat> okay, cool, I, I, I guess. guess. I'll be learning on my own here. Well, uh, My first so arbitration. I, remember... I expect to fail epically. If I remember correctly, some of the enemies are invincible. What? Yeah. But I don't think they attack. I could be wrong. Invincibility, but can't attack. Perfect balance achieved. No, because, uh, no, yeah, like, there's these, there are these little drone things, they're called arbitration drones. Uh, they buff nearby enemies, and you cannot kill them. Oh, that's bullshit. Yeah. But, I mean, like, I've seen people play arbitrations. I've seen people play arbitrations, and they just blast through the enemies. I'm just like, what? Okay, and people like immediately figured out how to kill the drone. It was just like a frost, I think. But uh, they patched that really quickly. And then I love like, when I see that, it's like. Okay. My attack speed is a lot. Better. Oh, wait. Yeah, so my shock number is to kill seven wide enemies with a spear. And for my fishing seal, it's to the enemies to have a head active and sustain a certain hit combo counter for Yasin seconds. And I've done that, I've just sustained like a thousand hit combos for minutes and hours. Not hours, but like fucking minutes. I can do that. I I was trying to do one of those for Mega Rudo, and it took me like three or four attempts to try and do that in the vision. And ironically, my saving grace is the Kudrog 3. What? Yeah, because the infinite mission of the Kudrog 3 came. So I killed two of them, then I spammed the B button on them. How the fuck did I fail? To did I die? Attack them. Probably. I don't know. I honestly do not know how they work at all. But, yeah, it Damn, was Damn, these arbitrations then... are fucking brutal. <laughs> Yeah, they are. And then, uh, Melee Riven Mine. It's... I gotta kill 54 enemies with... without dying. I could do that really easily. I could do that now. Wait, uh, but yeah, you so, had to let's go. see. You said you had to... I, was, I said I was probably gonna go. But... Tomorrow, I should try and complete the star chart. So I have Mercury, Venus, Earth, Lua, Eris, Pluto, the Derelict, Uranus, Jupiter, no not Jupiter, I have the Void, the Void, I the almost void. have Ceres, I think I have, yeah, I have Mars, Phobos, no not Phobos, I still have to do Stupid frigging Kepler. Kepler. And then I, I cannot be Kepler. Ke where's Kepler? Where's Kepler? It's on Phobos. It's it's an Arcwing rush mission, and it's really stupid. Oh, well, I know you do that. It. Let's, go Let, let's go fucking do that. Do let's go fucking do that. Okay. Well, let's get that out of the way. Kepler. And then the next one I'm gonna have to do is a defection. You said Kepler, right? Yeah, Kepler. All right, let's do Kepler, and then, then we'll end this Kepler. nonsense. That way, yeah, everyone who's going to be one... watching this can be get back to their lives. Yeah. Hopefully, I mean, I saves say us that... this time. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'd say like the next two hardest missions would be. The defection on Saturn and the interceptions that I have left to do. But yeah, I tried to beat Kepler and I could not beat it. Your first time I did. Granted, that was a long what time ago. What the fuck is this? So. What, Kepler? Yeah. Ow. 
same. I forgot they have mines. Mines that slow you down. God damn, my fucking arc wing is fast. I need to slow the fuck down. I almost got stuck inside the wall. Whoa. Because I was going so fast. Dude, having it, it's all is fun. I went the wrong way. And holy, why am I so fast? I don't know. Honestly, do not fucking. Did Hyperion thrusters really buff my speed that much? I'm about to die and crash into certain walls. Right, did it buff my speed too? They're flying right past you. Should have. Feels like set. it did. That and the opportunity to keep living. That's my favorite line ever. One well, no, not. There's one thing I saw where like this guy made an animation and it was just like it was basically it was just like this person robbed the candy store. It was like, you know what, I'll just buy it. How much did it cost again? The guy was like fifteen uh, or no, it was like twelve. Uh, how much did it cost? He looks back at the uh, the candy thing, and it just says twelve. He goes like, "Okay, Friends it's just twelve. I explained that badly, but I don't Going really care anymore. Fast. You do I that. Feel like Sonic on crack. I think another thing there. I cannot get to you because I don't know where to go. That's okay. I can see you over there. Dead day! Get up with your ship. Guess who can't get the extraction because they don't know where the fuck to go. Now you can take your time, man. Yeah, now I just wait. Yeah, I can set my controller down and just. I'm well, gonna I mean, wait no, for you, man. You're 5,600 some odd, 700 some odd meters away. Fuck! I can literally see you on my map and you're standing on nothing. Can you see me? Firing at you? I see the waypoint for where you are through a wall, but I don't see through the wall itself. Yeah. Well, for me, there's not a wall there. Hello, Florian. <clears throat> oh, I go through this hole in the wall that I'd never known before. I can't before. zoom out on this map here. Fuck. Well, now I, now I figured out where the hell I'm supposed to go. So now I'll get there soon enough. And these Arcwing missions, they're so annoying because you never know where you're supposed to go the first time around. Yeah, then then you figure yeah. out, oh yeah, that's how it's laid out. It's all linear. It really is. It's all linear. It's basically a straight line with a few lefts and rights. Dude, this one is not a straight line. Because the hole in the wall you have to go through is not in a straight line. It's mostly that's in a straight like, line. Mostly, yes. Not all the time, though. Not where the hell do I go? Uh, I don't remember all the turns. I went through them way too fast. I'd be able to see a little bit. There wasn't just a smoke vent. Plasma conduits are erupting all around us. Someone give me a star. Oh. So it was just straight up cool. The least obvious. You're 4,000 meters away! Yeah, Hold on, wait. Instead of 5,000, you're 2,000 close. So 4,000 meters... So 4,000 meters is about... It's well about over a mile, right? Well... Yeah, it's, it's, it's about 12,000 feet. Yeah, because like, three feet... About... Is, it's roughly three feet to a meter, and there's only 5,000 so many feet per mile. So, I think there's three thousand 
No, there's, there's 5,000 feet. Yeah, 5,000 some odd feet. I can't remember the exact number. It's 5,000 something. So, I can just Google so, that. Yeah. What's the conversion ratio here? My brain doesn't want to work. Yeah, here, I'll just, I'll just do that. You've got time. How many miles away are you? We're converting meters into miles on your warframe. We're geniuses. Yes. Instead of completing the mission, we're just mathing everything out. Five feet in a mile. Okay, yeah, no, it's five thousand two hundred eighty feet. Five two eight zero. Nice. Something's wrong with Moto Wanna... Prime skin. It looks met instead of shiny. Wanna know how many hours are in a year? I've calculated how many seconds are in a year. I don't want to know. Yeah. It's like it's like over three million something, right? Okay. That reminds me, since we're calculating math, the speed of light travels... It can travel around the Earth seven times in one second. What's the circumference of the Earth, and at what altitude are we talking about this beam of light being? That's the first thing we need to talk about. Plus... The Earth's not a perfect sphere. It's got mountains and shit. So, there's a lot it's, of it's like a in how many freaking miles per second you can travel. There's way too much ambiguity in that statement. But yeah, in one year, there's 8,760 hours. Uh, what is the circumference of the Earth? It's approximately 24,901 miles. Okay, so 24,901 times 7! And that gives you how many miles light travels in one second. So that's like... Let's see, so that is... Something near... Two million, I believe. Somewhere close to... Let's just round it off at two million miles a second. About, yeah, because it's like... It's like 20... No, hold on. One because 7 times 3 is 21. Or no, 27. No, 28. No, it's 23. Or... 23 I, million. Ah! Hold on, I broke myself by mistake. Help. Broke yourself. Twenty four nine oh one times seven. That's plus. We need a calculator that has ten billion digits long. That's what we need. Okay, never mind. It's it's only like it's only a hundred and seventy four thousand three hundred and seven miles per second. Acts of defiance, acts of generosity, acts of sacrifice. Okay. Now you, That's you how he turns the system and around. You multiply it by how many seconds are in a year, and you get how far a beam of light travels in a year. That is a light year. It's a unit of distance. And a lot of people keep using it as a fucking unit of time! It's not a unit of time, it's a unit of distance. Why? Why the fuck do you say you're light years ahead of your class? That means you're billions of miles and kilometers away! Okay, there is... 31,536,000 seconds in a year. Let's just round that up to 32. Yeah. You know what? I'm gonna go that extra mile. I'm going to do the. Uh, I'm gonna add the actual number. Oh my god! Why? Saner than because I. Because I can. Than I. It's just five, three, six, and then three zeros. That's a T. That should not be there. Why is that there? I don't know. Thirty one million seven hundred or thirty one million 
710,307. To what power? Ow. None power. Because this really? is just a. That's how many miles? Yeah, there's miles? no power to that. Is, is that yeah, legit? That's how many. That's, that's how long a light year is. That's how the distance that a light year is. Yeah. 31. 30? Some odd million frickin' miles. It's about 32 million. It's roughly 32 million miles. And it takes That's nine pretty... seconds for light to reach the Earth from the, the local star, or twin stars, as it were. There's there's a really small one there floating around the, the central one. Yeah, I mean, I, I can believe that. It's pretty it's odd just up there. that the big giant star dwarfs the smaller one and you can't see it properly. Yeah. Why did we do this? Because we could. That's why we did it. <laughs> because of insanity. It comes with being a fucking super nerd. I got a notification from Reddit. What's this? The Allied Invasion of Sicily, codenamed Operation Husky. That's nothing. You should talk Bro, about I'm Operation... Up not having a good time. What, what is it? Tootsie Roll! Operation Tootsie Roll! Wow. Oh, wait. Yeah, I, this is just a meme, because it says, Hitler, the war is going amazingly. How are you holding, holding your fronts, Mussolini? Mussolini. Bro, I'm straight up not having a good time. Cool. I like Reddit sometimes, and other times I don't. I just, Reddit's just a place for all kinds of fucking weird shit. I'm not going like, back on there. Reddit. I can't take on Reddit, how fucking you either retarded find... a lot of it is. Yeah, I was gonna say on Reddit you either find a lot of retards. Are the most amazing things you've ever seen. Just and, but too many like retards, more, it's man. Just clever. Too many retards. Like r slash red pill, I think is that's what it was. I don't want to hear about it. Never mind. I like r slash I am very smart. Because it's people who are trying to look smart and it's hilarious. Hey, you really want to look hey, smart? Really wanna... Don't use big giant fucked up words and speak to everyone plainly in a language they can understand. Yeah, just be a normal person. Like, jeez, don't alienate yourself from people. But if you really want to be smart, by the Merriam Webster. Merriam Webster's International Dictionary's meaning of smart. STAB SOMEONE! I agree. <laughs> That's the literal definition of the word smart, by the way. A sharp or localized, uh, sharp pain or stabbing sensation. That's literally the meaning, the <laughs> fucking definition of the word smart. Of the word. I like the meaning of Bitch the word abstruse because smart was nobody went to the hospital. Yeah. So Katana, it's not smart, my thing it's my... learned. <laughs> That's the actual word people <laughs> should be using. It's learned. learned. Yes, I agree. Oh yeah, so Katana, I like the word abstruse. Because what? nobody knows what it means. Yeah, the word abstruse, it means... Difficult to understand, and it also means difficult to penetrate. There's a sex joke in there like, somewhere for whoever wants to find it. And there fuck is, it. yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah, but I mean, like, because no one understands what the word means, so the word is literally abstruse because no one understands it. And I love that about the word. Also, I think one of my favorite jokes is the is. The meaning of opaque is unclear. The meaning is unclear, or the, the word means unclear? 
No, the meaning of opaque is unclear. The meaning? Or the literal definition yeah. of the word itself? <clears throat> it's supposed to be that, but... I mean, yeah. <laughs> it's great. Ambiguity is a bitch! That's why synonyms I love read doing misconception. Stuff like that. Yeah. Take the word All right, uh, well, I'm gonna get for off example. Example. Well, I mean, yeah. That has like five or six different meanings. Exactly. Uh, but yeah. Exactly. I'll see you later. I'm gonna go leave now. Alright, take care. Alright, say care. bye to everybody. Say bye to everybody. Goodbye, persons watching the video, if it saves. Yeah, hopefully. <laughs> I hope it does, yeah. Mm -hmm. Good goodbye. Bye everyone.